Hey, how's it going everybody? Burr Brian here. The internet's been going crazy over Taco Bell's new Triple Double Crunch Wrap. So, in today's Bites Food Review, I'm going to tear that shit up. Let's start the show. advertisements I've seen for the Triple Double Crunch Wrap make it out to be like it's enormous. I think I even read somewhere that it's supposed to be the size of a small toddler. Well, I just got off work and I'm really hungry, so we're going to see about that. I think these average about $3.69 a piece, but I went with the $5 big box so that I could get a couple tacos on the side with it. But inside the box, we do have a pretty massive piece of food right here. I got to tell you, I am impressed just picking it up weight alone. I'm looking at a good half pound at least. It's got to be a good eight ounces. And man, yeah, take a look at that. It is literally the size of my whole face. It is gigantic. And uh, of course, you guys know me, I love spicy food. So I got the spicy variety. I got to say, I mean, it is rather thick. I can smell the jalapenos coming up. That's a very good thing. But let's go ahead and cut this thing open and see what it looks like in the middle. Yeah, look at that. That's a beautiful thing right there. So I have watched a couple other reviews for this and some people were kind of disappointed that theirs didn't seem like there was a whole lot of meat. But I gotta say, this one was done perfectly. In the inside, you've got your two layers of the hard shell. And on each layer, I do see beef, beef, beef. That's really nice. And then on the top, it's just got everything else. You've got your uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, jalapenos, and hopefully there's gonna be a spicy sauce. I've heard it's supposed to be like some sort of spicy ranch. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Definitely really tasty. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of spice, so maybe I missed the uh, sauce. Let me take a bite out of the center here where there's all the goodies. Definitely really, really tasty. Um, the jalapenos really don't have any spice to it. They're not fresh cut. They look like they're jarred jalapenos, so to me they taste more like a candy sweet jalapeno. Uh, really no heat at all and as far as the any kind of spicy ranch I'm not really noticing it at all again I do eat a lot of spicy food so maybe that's kind of masking it all and I'm not really getting much of a, a burn on it but I'll tell you it is damn tasty and just looking at the size I can tell that this is going to be a rather filling meal but anyway you guys know the drill I'm going to chow the fuck down on this Definitely really, really tasty. I chowed that thing down in probably two minutes. Really, really good. I gotta say, it's definitely filling. That's one thing that I love about how big this thing is. Like, I could easily eat this. You know, honestly, when I'm working, I'm working in a hard job. It's hot. I'm having to run around a lot. So, I don't want to eat a whole lot of food, like tons and tons of stuff. The great thing about this is it's plenty. It's enough to really fill you up and excuse me and it's less than five dollars so you really can't go wrong there and uh, the only complaints that I have is of course the jalapenos they really should use fresh jalapenos so you get much more of a spicy bite out of it that uh, the, the canned or, or jarred stuff just really doesn't have any heat to it at all I did get a little bit more of that spicy sauce towards the end it didn't have a whole lot on there and honestly it really wasn't all that hot so my suggestion to Taco Bell if you really want to make a spicy version of something like this if you're gonna advertise it spicy you should maybe use some of the sauce that you had in the Daredevil Grillers, like the, the Habanero or uh, even the Ghost Pepper sauce, something to really give it a good punch because I have absolutely no heat at all in my mouth. So I am going to start rating food from now on since I haven't been doing it in the past. As far as uh, heat goes, this one gets a, uh, a big whopping one. That's it. One on heat. Nothing at all spicy. I mean, I'm feeling my head sweat a little bit, but it's because... It's fucking Florida and it's burning hot in my house. It's 80 something degrees. I don't like to run the AC when I do these videos. It makes too much background noise. But uh, as far as flavor goes, man, I got to give that like a solid, 
don't know, a solid 7 out of 10 because it's really good. It's definitely way up there. It's much better than a lot of the items on their menu. Although again, these are really drunk food. I mean, Taco Bell is meant for stoners and late night drunken rendezvous to be honest. Uh, but I would definitely order this for a lunchtime meal. I think it's a perfect size and it's quick and easy. I got mine in and out and the guys did a great job building it. Again, there were layers upon layers of beef, you know, and all the stuff that was supposed to be in there. So I got to give them a good job on that. It's been a while since I've been able to review something from Taco Bell and uh, give it a really good positive uh, review. But uh, anyway, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you have any suggestions, things you'd like to see me try, leave them down below in the comment box. If you have anything to say at all, leave it down below because I love interacting with all of you. It's why I make these videos, not just to hear myself talk, because I love you guys. So, thanks for watching everybody, and as always, stay toasty, my friends.